Today is a special day because I have a new bike. I just picked up this 2019 KTM 250XC TPI from my dealer. Uh, it's bone stock, I haven't modified anything. Um, and I thought I'd make this video to show you uh, the bike stock and also what comes with it. So I'm sure some of you are going to be asking whether I'm going to sell my 2017 250. <laughs> yeah, I still really enjoy riding my 17 and it's pretty much perfectly set up for me. Um, the engine is ru running really strongly now, so I have no uh, plans to sell that. Um, the main reasons I bought the uh, TPI are one is uh, family, I needed a second bike, and uh, the other is I'm keen to uh, try to modify the TPI and uh, see how well I can get uh, the bike running. Um, I test rode a uh, 18 TPI and um, it was okay, but I was a little disappointed in comparison to my uh, Carp 250. So I have uh, various modifications plan for it and I'll be making videos about that so it should be really interesting. The 2019 model um, has some minor updates over the 2018. You can see the uh, graphics have been updated and also the frame color is now orange rather than black. Um, the engine map has been updated and also the suspension settings are updated. Here you can see the front of the bike and it comes fitted stock with orange flag style handguards and then uh, lower down uh, you can see the lower fork guards are black with orange decals. And here you can see the other side of the bike and you get a good view of the orange frame and orange frame guards. And the seat is non-slip black with a rib pattern at the back for extra grip. And then controls, the grips are OD lock-on grips which are the same as last year. And then uh, the Japan model comes with this switch uh, which is a horn kill switch, uh, turn signal switch and high-low beam. And then the other side, there's the uh, start button. The forks are WP Explore 48mm and they come with a compression adjuster on the left hand side and the rebound on the right. Um, on the standard model, the triple clamps are uh, cast. The rear suspension is WP Explore PDS, uh, which you can see is a linkless system. Here you can see the speed meter. It's the same as last year, it has a few basic functions. So on the left hand side is the uh, indicated speed. And then uh, on the right hand side there's odometer, a uh, couple of trips, and then uh, hour meter which is handy for maintenance, and then a clock, and then it goes back to the odometer. And then down here there's a, a turn signal indicator which flashes, and a oil low level uh, light which comes on when the oil level is low. And the TPI models they have a uh, two stroke oil tank, and you can see here this is the lower part of the oil tank. And this is the two-stroke oil filler cap, and it's very easy to use. You just flip it up, twist it about a third of a turn, and it comes off. Put your oil in, and uh, you're ready to go. The stock rear tire is a Maxxis Max Engie Pro, and the size is 140-80-18. And the stock front tire is also a Maxxis Max Engie Pro, and the size is 80 21 Here you can see the stock license plate tail assembly with the turn signals attached. And this is what I received with the bike, a folder containing documents and tools and uh, two mirrors. Inside the folder there's some stickers, uh, there's a warranty card. Uh, in Japan the warranty on EXC bikes is only one month, so uh, if you buy a new bike, good idea to ride it uh, as soon as possible and uh, find out if there's any issues. Um, then this is a notepad which is quite nice, I'm probably going to use this for maintenance. And then there's two owner's manuals, so there's a Japanese version and English version. And then there's a toolkit. And inside the toolkit, all the basic tools, this is the same as uh, my 17 toolkit. And these are uh, lever uh, mud guards, uh, rubber guards. The bike right now has the uh, plastic flag style guards on so it doesn't have those couple of reflectors for the forks I'm not going to fit those uh, KTM pen and then in this pocket there's various parts so uh, there's a key for the steering lock um, there's a bunket for the uh, fuel tank line when you take the tank off it's a good idea to use those uh, stop dirt getting in the line um, there's some fuel line filters so I've actually got three there which is nice 
and uh, this is for the uh, side stand. Uh, right now it's um, set up so that it stays down when you push it down. If you fit this one, um, it flips up uh, unless you're holding it down. I like it the way it's set up right now. And we've got a, um, this is to bleed air out of the, uh, the oil uh, line, two-stroke oil line. Um, if, for example, you run it uh, completely dry, um, you'd put some oil in and then plug this in and then uh, run the oil pump to get rid of the air. Um, as a throttle cam, uh, this is a 13 tooth front sprocket, so stock it comes fitted with a 14th, so I'll be putting this 13 one on. A couple of mirror mounts, and that's it. So I have a whole series of videos planned over the next few weeks, which will cover modifying the ergonomics, uh, adding on guards, uh, performance mods to the engine, also exhaust system, and uh, suspension mods. So if you're interested in that, uh, please be sure to uh, check them out.